In celebration of Billboard's 2018 Woman of the Year, Ariana Grande dropping her new track, Thank You Next, Billboard has compiled a list of the most exceptional songs about exes throughout music history. So let's take a look. And then another one text me your next, and I'ma text your back like I don't with you. Let's kick things off with a guy name dropped in Thank You Next, Big Sean. Sean dropped IDFWU back in 2013 after breaking off his engagement to Glee's Naya Rivera. Taylor Swift echoed a similar sentiment back in 2012, just with less cuss words, when she released We Are Never Getting Back Together. While some outlets speculated on who this song was about, Swift has never confirmed the track since Bo, one way or another. From Swift's breakup anthem turned dance party sing along to a more violent approach to the emotions that accompany Splitsville, it's Miley Cyrus's 2013 Wrecking Ball. I came in like a wrecking ball. I never hit so hard in love. Cyrus was said to have written it about the end of her and Liam Hemsworth's first go around, but we're happy to report both are happy and back together now. I'm so sick of that same 2015 was an interesting time as both real-life exes, Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber, each had great breakup jams. Gomez with Same Old Love and Bieber with Sorry. Is it too late now to say sorry? Cause I'm missing more than just your body. Now we gotta talk about the jam that literally has the word X in its title, Little Mix's Shout Out To My Ex. Fans believe the song to be about Perry Edwards' split with Zayn, but I'm sure you'll tell me your own theories down in the comments. Now, this wouldn't be a look back at breakup songs about exes if we didn't talk about the OG and maybe the greatest of all time, Justin Timberlake's Cry Me A River. The 2002 banger linked JT with longtime collaborator Timbaland in a rain-soaked video that features a female co-star bearing a striking resemblance to a certain someone Justin once dated, who also doubles as one of the biggest pop superstars of the past 20 years. I'll let you figure that one out. For more, you can head to Billboard.com. And until next time for Billboard News, I'm Kevin Kenny.